Hello everyone, Third Luck here, and as you can see, the tumbler is now off limits. So we need to speak to nine. Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. Okay, so I'm off to talk to Agent Cruller. Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Cruller? Or somewhere else? Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. Okay. No doubt. You're Fort Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. Okay, so we can ask much questions or... Here we go. Let's find out what's as soon as a janitor. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, I've got, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. Okay, so... Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. He wants to teach you advanced combat? On your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouth full of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old dining helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Nothing, nothing. Prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast anywhere you want. Thanks. Side blast? No, you'll find out. No, sir. Okay, so. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. Okay, I'll find what Citanium is. What's Citanium? Citanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? 
So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, not like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. Okay, I did mention this game has a lot of dialogue. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I can put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Okay, not gonna lie, bacon would probably do it for me as well. Okay, I did mention this game has like a lot of dialogue. That's why I'm not talking as much. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here. Hook it up to the loom and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. Okay, so... Yep. This game is constantly teaching you stuff. Yep. How the hell did I miss that? So I'm trying to move back to 9. Again? Okay. Let's get back to nine. I'm gonna see if I fall again. I'm gonna just end the video here. No! Ok, 
Okay, I think I'm being stupid right now, but... Well, let's try this one more time. Damn it! Okay. Okay, not so correct after all. Thank you, Agent Crab. Agent Nine's lab, please. With pleasure. Okay. Agent Nine's lab. Okay, guys. As much as I'm upbringing stuff here, I, I'm gonna cut it short here. Thanks for watching. <laughs>